channel. My name is Jo Ashley and this is my channel, The Makeup Enthusiast. Today's video is one of my personal favorites. I've never done this kind of video, before, this type of video before, but I love watching them. I started watching YouTube in 2011 and these were one of my top favorite ones to watch after Christmas. Today's video is what I got for Christmas. Honestly, just a little disclaimer because I know some people, um, I wouldn't know what to call it, but it makes them feel some type of way. So, um, this is not me bragging. This is just simply what I got for Christmas. To be honest, I told none of my relatives to buy me anything because I know that I have kids and gifting to kids can get pricey, especially with all my nieces and nephews. I'm Puerto Rican and my husband is Mexican and there's a lot of children involved. So it's a lot of kids to buy gifts for. So I told them, please don't buy me anything. Just what the kids is enough, but they still bought me stuff. They still were super kind, super thoughtful. And I have, I loved and enjoyed every single one of these gifts. Yeah, today's video is gonna be a what I got for Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my mother-in-law. My in-laws came from Houston and they spent the holidays here. She got me two things and um, I'm honestly obsessed with them. She got me this bowl kitchen set as like Tupperware and honestly, I use it so much. I don't know, I think I've mentioned it in my Get to Know Me video. I absolutely love cooking. Is I'm a foodie, I'm a food enthusiast, I'm a cooking enthusiast, I'm just a foodie. I love cooking. I nicknamed myself Jojo Ramsey. That's how much I love cooking and baking. So she got me this and this is gonna come in really handy because man, I have a bowl for everything. Like I need for baking, I need for just chicken so I won't uh, cross contaminate. The next thing she got me was this beautiful watch right here. I'd probably use this to like go to church or something. It's a little fancy smancy, so it's super cute. And that brings a bracelet too. The next person is my niece. She is so thoughtful. She recently moved away to a different new city and we've missed her very much. And she, she surprised each of her aunts and uncles with a little something and it was a keychain. She bought it with her own money and her school shop for Christmas. And guess what it says, guys? I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it because of my lighting, but it says best aunt ever. Super thoughtful and cute, I love it. The next person that got me something was my brother and my sister-in-law. And I thought it was so cute. They got me this set of pajamas. They got me this set of pajamas. And they got me this shirt. Anybody that knows me, I need the, a lot of these shirts and pajamas because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I go to school online, and when I do work, it's from home. So I'm always home. That means that I'm always in pajamas. If I can live in yoga pants and pajamas, I totally would. Like, I'm wearing a nice shirt. But underneath this, pajamas. But I love that. And they also got me a gift card to Ulta. Super excited about this. I've been wanting makeup, but I haven't bought anything since the Jaclyn Hill palette came out, I think. Might be lying, but it feels like that's the last thing that I bought for myself, makeup-wise, and I have been wanting a few products. So I'm happy I have that because now I have a reason to go spend money on makeup. Super exciting. The next person that got me something okay, is my other grandma. She went ahead and got me this super cute, oh, you can see my camera on my setup right there. The super cute jewelry box. I was actually needing one and since it came from my grandma, I'm gonna cherish, cherish it so much more. It's super pretty, super reflective and I think these boxes are timeless. Oh catching me again. I think these boxes are super cute, super timeless, and you, you can never go wrong with a jewelry box. And I love it even more because it came from my grandma. So I'm gonna be using this a lot. His mom, my grandma, my mom's mom, got me another gift card for $60 for Sephora. She's like, pa que te pintas la cara. And I was like, oh, grandma, you did not have to do that. Like, honestly, I feel so bad because I would rather her have that money and go spend it on herself because she deserves it. She's an amazing woman whose husband died at a really young age. She had to raise my mom and my aunt as a single mother and she never moved on. She adored her husband and she respected her daughters and never moved on. Honestly, that woman is so strong. Like, I love her to death. And um, she gave me $60 for Sephora and I feel bad. Like, she shouldn't have done that, but I appreciate it so much more. So I'm definitely gonna buy something that I can, like, um, I can collect, like, maybe, like, a nice, Something from a collection that won't go bad and I can keep it for as long as I can. So yeah, I'm really, really thankful for that and I feel like she shouldn't have done it, but I am so thankful that she did. I got another gift card from my mom from Sephora. 
super excited to go buy more makeup. Obviously, my family knows me. I'm basic like that. I forgot to show you guys. My grandma, the one that gave me the Sephora gift card, knows my obsession with Christmas. So, um, she bought me these. How cute are these guys? These are from Daisy Penny. She got me these too. So my mom got me a gift card from Sephora and I don't know why I'm showing this because I've used it and even washed it. Um, I always do this. My mom, I always tell her, oh, I need this. And then like, she's like, oh, it's what I got you for Christmas. Here you go. So she got me this for Christmas, but she ended up giving it to me two weeks before Christmas. So that's why it's used. I was like, man, I need a jacket. I need to go buy a jacket. Mom, can you go with me so I can go buy a jacket? And she's like, Yo, tú siempre haces eso, siempre. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. I'm just telling you to go buy a jacket with me. And she's like, eso es lo que te compré para Navidad. I was like, she got it for me for Christmas. So she went ahead and gave it to me with these two things and a keychain. She got me the Victoria's Secret pair of socks. I love these. These are amazing. If I can live in socks and slippers, I would. But she got me this jacket from Victoria's Secret and I love it. It's super comfortable. It fits super loose and it's super cute. I feel like that's what I keep saying. Don't mind me, but I'm obsessed with everything I got. And I wasn't expecting all this. Like, honestly, I was not. So it makes it that e even more special. So she got me that, the socks, and the gift card for Sephora. Truly thankful, grateful. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm grateful and I'm thankful because I did not ask or I would have been just happy with just getting nothing, just seeing the joy on people's faces with the gifts that I got them. But I'm so happy and thankful that I got those things. The next person that got me something was my aunt. She lives in Puerto Rico, so she went ahead and sent it before Christmas, and it was a gift card to JCPenney's, and I was gonna use it at Sephora, but I saw this super cute shirt, and I've worn it in a previous video. It's super soft. I love, like, the super, it's like one of those over the shoulders. Well, you guys, if you've seen my other videos, you guys have probably seen it. It's one of those over the shoulder shirts, and like the material is like the softest thing ever. Like, it is so soft. So I got myself that with the gift card and I also got myself a face mask, like the Sephora face mask because my skin, guys, ever since it's been getting super cold down here in South Texas, my skin absolutely hates me, like it hates me. So I needed it. And she also sent me this pair of, uh, I think it's J. Crew earrings. I'm not sure, I could be wrong. I feel like they are J. Crew. She sent me these two. Oh, my mom. My mom, my mom also got me this. It's like the softest. I have a, I have an obsession with like soft shirts, jackets, pants since I basically live in them. So anytime I see something soft, especially anything soft that I can wear in home and walk out the door with it, I'm totally in for it. She got it's like a cardigan, but it's literally the softest thing ever, and I love that it has a gray, black, and nude in it because I can literally wear it with any kind of shoe that I wear and any kind of pants because everything will match. So I love, 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 love this. The next person is my husband. Now, I told my husband not to get me anything, but he will never listen to that. He will always get me something. That man is so amazing to me. I am so blessed to have him be my husband and he blessed, he, I am so blessed. He gets me whatever I want and he will order me. If I want something for the house, like an expensive appliance, he will get it for me. This is not me bragging, this is just the truth. So I feel like he does not need to get me anything because he literally buys me stuff gear round. So I told him, please do not get me anything because we spent a lot of money on gifts for the boys, gifts for the family. So I was like, please don't, please just don't get me anything. He's like, no, I'm gonna get you something. I was like, can you at least make it under 50 because I already ordered myself a gift and honestly, his money's mine, my money is his. What's his is mine, what's mine is his. So it's coming from, from him too. I was like, please don't get me anything. And um, he didn't listen, so I gave him a budget. I was like, you can spend $50 on me and I won't feel totally horrible. So he did and he went over it. He went ahead and started off. They're very thoughtful gifts. When he gets me, he picks it out. He's like, I'm not gonna buy you a jewelry anymore. I'm not gonna buy you anything expensive anymore because you can just get that for yourself. You just tell me and you can buy it. And it's the truth. Like I know I feel I don't wanna bra I don't wanna sound like I'm bragging, but he it's the truth. If I want a vacuum cleaner or something for the house, I'll tell him and if it's okay and we have the money, I, I can get it. And um 
So his gifts are more of the things that I want to get myself that I don't get myself because I feel like, oh, I don't need to spend money on that. You know, like, I don't need it. So the first thing that he got me is this elephant, is this elephant shirt. I have an obsession with elephants. I, like, elephants and unicorns and Hello Kitty. I really do, especially elephants because I think they are such wonderful animals. They are so loving. The love that they show to their children is incredible. You can see it, like, you just can. And yes, I look at the Animal Planet and the videos, especially elephant videos. So I really, really do like elephants and how loving they are and what they stand for as in a family. So he got me this shirt and I thought it was so cute, so thoughtful. The next thing he got me, the next thing he got me, and he knows it. I'm obsessed with pizza. Pizza is like my favorite food ever. Pizza and Italian food. He got me this from Target. I know it's from Target because I saw it at Target, and it says you have a pizza in my heart. And I don't. I'm probably gonna use it every time I buy. Every time I eat pizza, it's super cute. The next thing that he got me is this clipboard with calendars. I am a planner, even though nothing ever goes as you plan it. But when it comes to bills and being responsible and a responsible adult. I am your girl. I literally have everything written and planned and I am important stuff and bills always come first. And it's something that I live by and I want to teach it to my children. So I always have my notebook with everything written and my planner when it comes to bills. So if I plan anything in my life, it won't go as planned. But when it comes to bills, my bills are always on time and they're always planned. So this is going to come really handy for the bills and stuff like that. Important doctor's appointment. I've always wanted to get myself one of these, but I didn't because I didn't feel like it was necessary because I had a notebook, but he listens. This man listens to the smallest things. I mean, men I mentioned something, and when it comes time for him to give me a gift, he gives it to me. And it's like the small things that I just love so much about him, and not him buying me things, but the fact that he listens to me. This is, this is a history behind this. <laughs> There's a little story behind this box. This box, this is what he got me for my birthday. And my husband thinks that uh, wrapping gifts and stuff like that is like a waste of money. So he went ahead and spent like, I'm sure like a good $5 in this box. I found it astonishing. I was like, oh my gosh, that is our forever gifting box. So for whatever gift you get me, put it in this box. I'm never getting rid of it. I'm never giving it to somebody else. So he's reusing. This is going to be my reuse gift box. So in here, he went ahead and got me a few things. He got me fuzzy socks. Cause like I said, I can live in fuzzy socks and slippers. The other part of this is holding my camera down because my tripod, tripod broke. I'm praying to God it does not fall because if it does, my camera is donezo. But yes, fuzzy socks. He went ahead and got me. Guys, look at how cute this is. It's a pizza keychain. Freaking cute that is. Oh, I love it. I'm, I, I really wanted to do this video because I really want to put these things away and get started to use them. So I'm happy I'm doing this video because I get to use my pizza keychain. And he also got me a plug because what mom does not live unless you drink tea or you can drink caffeine. But what mom does not live without her coffee? Coffee is my fuel, my energy, what I run on. So this is handy. I love, I love connect. I love collecting mugs. I'm a mug collector. So. Super cute. I love that in the sense that I like old lady stuff. I love collecting pendants and brooches. And he knows it and he got me this. It says best friends and it has the macaroni and the cheese and this is so stinking cute. I love it. His gifts are so thoughtful. I love it. And he got me this because like a long time ago, like I always take off my wedding rings whenever I go to cook and I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose them, I don't have anywhere to put them. And he's like, I got you this so you can put your rings on them every time you do the dishes or you clean. So super thoughtful, I'm telling you, he listens to me. The next thing that he got me, and guys, I am so, so freaking obsessed with this. I haven't even seen this. I don't even know where he got it from. And I did not look at an area at Target or Five Below and wherever he went, but oh my gosh, he got me a Christmas tree, a pine tree. And I am so nervous to like have it grow because I don't want to ruin it. This is like the cutest, most thoughtful thing ever. Like I mentioned before, I am a Christmas Zilla. He just named me that. He dubbed me a Christmas Zilla. So this is super cute. I'm excited to get to grow this. Nervous because I don't want it to die, but it's gonna be fun to watch it grow. And the next thing that I got, that he got me was a card. And I was like, oh, he always gets me cards because I collect like cards. I always keep my cards whatever parts they are, and he just got here. 
Hi, I'm talking about you. Hi. My baby. I missed you. Don't kiss me. I'm full of dirt. Minerals. Yes, go. Guys, I'm about to show you my favorite Christmas gift this year. And it's something that I would have never expected him to get me. I briefly mentioned two months ago that I wanted to start collecting yeah. nutcrackers. And he got me the cutest nutcracker ever. It doesn't actually crack a nut, but it's super cute. And he wrote that. And my son added the smiley face. So guys, this is what I got for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.